And finally, new rule, Republicans have to admit they don't just hate Democrats, they hate democracy. They hate the player and the game. <laughs> this is a real picture of Mitch McConnell last week. <laughs> after he won the vote against hearing from witnesses at Trump's impeachment trial. That's his O face. So stop saying Republicans don't have principles. They do. They are deeply committed to all things undemocratic. Get this week. Get this. Last week, the deep red conservative counties of Virginia threatened to secede and join West Virginia, creating a new state called Fatsylvania. <laughs> Jerry Falwell Jr., longtime Virginia resident and second generation religious con man, <laughs> said many counties in Virginia are taking a long, hard look at escaping the barbaric, totalitarian, and corrupt Democratic regime. Wow, totalitarian? Barbaric? Why? Because Virginia had an election and the Democrats won? We. we we used to call that an orderly transition of power. And patriots don't secede. They stay and participate as the loyal opposition. Uh, a few years ago, a Republican chair of North Carolina's redistricting committee said, I think electing Republicans is better than electing Democrats. So I drew the map to help foster what I think is better for the country. Wow, they, they don't even think they should play fair. It, it's why they love the Electoral College and are constantly inventing new forms of voter suppression. The Republican view is you have the right to vote unless you're likely to vote for Democrats, in which case we reserve the right to cheat to stop you. Uh, in 2016, when Supreme Court Justice Scalia died, Mitch McConnell said since the seat had become vacant in an election year, the Senate would not even consider a nomination from Obama, which he found in Article I, Section 4 of his ass. <laughs> Mitch said, even though I know the Constitution is clear that when a Supreme Court slot comes open, the sitting president gets to fill it, and it's my job as a senator to make that happen, that's the old America, a nation of laws. We're living in the new America with only one law. Make me. Make me. You know... When a country slides into authoritarian rule, you don't get a text alert. Things will look the same on the surface. The buses will still be running. The cops will still be patrolling. You can still get your hair done. Your favorite show is still on TV, unless maybe it's this one. <laughs> Americans are always worried that when we lose our freedom, it'll look like the movie Red Dawn with tanks in the streets. That's not how our republic ends. We keep the names on the institutions. We just change what's inside. We still have trials, we just don't have witnesses. And you still subpoena people, they just don't show up. There's still an EPA, it just works for the coal companies now. It's like the way TV channels sometimes completely change format but keep the name. MTV, music television, hasn't had music videos for years. <laughs> The Learning Channel has no learning. <laughs> no. <laughs> the Learning Channel has Honey Boo Boo and America's Worst Tattoos and Family by the Ton. <laughs> That's us now. When Rome stopped being a republic, it didn't stop having a Senate, and neither have we. It's just more like student government now. <laughs> Because that's what dictators do. Russia has a pretend parliament. So does China and North Korea. Just about every week here, I ask some Democrat, what's the plan for dealing with this new paradigm that I believe we're already living in? And invariably, they just laugh it off. Here's Mayor Pete last week 
You win, but Trump says there are irregularities and he can't give up the office. What do you do? Well, it's going to be a little awkward when Chasten and I are moving into the White House, but at the end of the day, <laughs> there's only one president. And I like Pete. I'm a big fan, and I'm glad he sort of won Iowa. <laughs> but this is not funny. Things are so bad. What I've been thinking lately is the fact that Bernie Sanders controls an angry mob is actually a positive. Because at least Sanders people will fight. They'll fight Hillary, but it's a start.